What's up guys, it's your boy M Sage, and I want to give you guys a little bit of daily learning. What I'm gonna start doing from now on is I'm going to give out tips and tricks to different modeling tricks that I use or methods that I use to create my models. Um, and today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly weight paint clothing. Now first we have to actually give this guy a shirt, so uh, let's just very quickly do that. So now we have ourselves a shirt and now the shirt does not bend with our body. See, As I move the arms, the shirt does not bend and it's just not looking good. So now what we have to do is weight paint it, but we don't want to have to go through the painstaking process of weight painting. So I can just easily we paint the entire thing in just a couple of clicks. Kind of pull that out just a little bit so that looks good. All right, so now, first things first, we want the under topology to look somewhat similar to the over topology. What that means is the formulation or the way that the squares line up, these uh, underlying squares line up, should be somewhat close to the way the shirt's squares line up. So you see like this kind of goes like a loop here and this goes around like this and then that goes loops around the arms the shirt should do the same thing which it loops around here goes around the arms goes around the body pretty similar now if you want to very quickly weight paint this entire shirt we just click the body or select the body underneath like this then we shift select the shirt go into weight paint mode go into weights Go to transfer weights. And now we have these uh, settings over here. We want to change the vertex mapping to nearest face interpolated. <clears throat> Sorry. What that means is uh, whatever part or whatever uh, vertices or faces that, are, that the shirt is closest to to the body, it's going to pull the weights from there. We want to go from a distance of about one meter because like our model is pretty small. The distance of a meter is uh, like from here to here and like the shirt is like zero point whatever meters away we want all of the layers by name the sources of the layers to be uh, copied by name so if we look over here it copies all of the bone names and destination layer we want all layers so all the layers all of the vertex layers that are on body are going to get transferred over to the shirt or at least all of the relevant so now it's weight painted. It's pretty much all weight painted. If we click through some of these, uh, if we look at uh, arm stretch uh, R, and we see some of the weights are there, arm twist there. Now we get to keep all our twist bones. We don't have to delete those extra bones. Those bones are very important so that when you twist your arm, it doesn't look weird. Like the shoulders will not over rotate. Same with all of these. Click on head, a little bit of the head 
got weighted over to the shirt, so we'll want to remove that. Let's clean that up a little bit. We do want the neck to be uh, on there, so we do have some neck weight. Spine, lower spine, root, looking good. Now we need to actually connect this shirt to our armature, because if we still move the bones, it's still not going to move. We need to select the shirt, then shift select the armature, or the bones, then hit control P, uh, control P, and click on armature to form. This will parent the shirt to the rig or the armature. So now it's parented and it has all of those vertex group names or the, the bone names. So when we bend our arm, it's perfect. It's perfectly weight painted. We didn't have to go through and do a lot of manual work. Uh, it's mathematically perfect. Now, if you see here, you get a little bit of this effect. That's because the there's more topology below the shirt than there's above it. So if you want to like fix that, you could just add more topology in this area like that. Or just uh, select all of it to provide it once, whatever. Uh, I would normally make the shirt a little bit different just to avoid that, but just for the sake of this example, you know, just to show like what causes that is the difference in topology. Now that we have more topology, we have less of that cheering, uh, sharing mess okay. yeah but that's gonna be it for this uh daily learning video uh just go over everything just real quick select the body shift select the shirt weight paint weights transfer weights choose these settings Let me undo that because i don't want to break it then select the shirt shift select the armature Control p armature to form and then it will all move to how you want it and that's it. If you learned something from this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and become part of the Dank Comey family, go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys later. Peace and much love. That you never be lonely